Hi, this is also in today's like to share how to prove this integer. We can first rewrite the integer. We have integrate cosecant x dx is equal to integrate 1 over sine x. In this video, we are going to apply the trigonometric identity. Let's recall the double angle identity. We have sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a times cos a. And for the Pythagoras identity, we have 1 is equal to sine squared a plus cos squared a. Let's change the denominator. Since this is x, and what we need here is half, as we can see, 2a changed to a. So we should have half, which means that we should take 2 sine x over 2 times cos x over 2 and for the numerator we should use exactly the same angle here which means that we should write sine square x over 2 plus cos square x over 2 and we have the x take the constant out we have 1 over 2 and we can split the integral the fraction so we should have sine square x over 2 divided by sine x over 2 times cos x over 2 plus cos squared x over 2 divided by sine x over 2 times cos x over 2 and we have dx. Let's simplify. Square of sine cancel with one sine so which means that we left sine over cos which is equal to tangent and we have x over 2 and on the other hand we have square cancel with one cos so which means that we left cos over sine which is one over tangent x over two we can standardize the denominator of the two fraction so which means that we should have one over two times tangent square x over two plus one over tangent x over two dx since tangent square x over 2 plus 1 is equal to secant square x over 2, so which means that we should have integrate secant square x over 2 divided by tangent x over 2 dx. To solve this integer, we can let u be equal to tangent x over 2, which means that du dx is equal to secant square x over 2 since this is not equal to x but x over 2 so which means that we should differentiate this part as well and apply the chain rule and hence we should have 1 over 2 rewrite the equation we have dx is equal to du over 1 over 2 secant squared x over 2 which means that we have is equal to 1 over 2 integrate secant squared x over 2 over tangent x over 2 is equal to u and times dx which is du over 1 over 2 secant squared x over 2. We can simplify secant squared x over 2 cancel with secant squared x over 2. 1 over 2 cancel with 1 over 2, which means that this is equal to integrate 1 over u du. When we integrate 1 over u, we should obtain ln u. And remember to add the constant c, which means that integrate cosecant x dx is equal to ln u is equal to tangent x over 2. Remember to add the constant C and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.